Um, my name is Leveda Taylor, and I have worked at Reg Online for about three years. I started out in technical support and worked into being a merchant account specialist. Online payment processing can mean a number of things. Mostly it's credit card payments, but it can also be e-checks, which is an electronic check that's filed at the time of a registration, or it can also be PayPal Express Pay, which a customer can pay with their PayPal account. In the end, it means that you get your money as registrations are taking place and yet you're not waiting for a check to come in the mail and manually posting that at a later date. RegOnline is an online registration system and it means that customers would go to a web page and fill out their registration form as opposed to filling out a form and mailing it to you or handing it to you. Uh, a component of the online registration can be an integration with online payment processing. So you can allow your registrants to pay by e-check, by credit card, or by PayPal Express Pay. Um, for payment by credit card, you would need to have a business bank account. You would need to have a merchant account, which is what would allow you to accept credit card payments. And then in order to accept them online, you would need to have a merchant gateway. This is an add-on to a merchant account that allows you to do online payment processing. A merchant account is the ability to accept credit card payments. So if a friend owes you money, they can't pay you by credit card if you just have a regular checking account. You would actually have to have a business bank account and then a merchant account is an add-on to a business bank account that allows you to accept credit card payments. In order to accept credit card payments online, you need a merchant gateway. It's merely an add-on to your merchant account that allows you to accept payments online through a shopping cart, through an online registration like RegOnline, or other options through the web. The difference between a sale and an authorization is a sale means that the credit card is charged at the time that say the registration is complete in the case of Reg Online, or in the case of you going into a retail store, your card is charged at the time that you collect the merchandise. In the case of an authorization, it would be much like going online to a store like Amazon or Barnes & Noble purchasing books, and they would collect your credit card information and they would hold it in a pending status against your credit card until the time your order was complete and ready to be shipped and your card would actually be charged at the time it was shipped. So in that scenario you may have an authorization holding on your account for several days and then your card would be processed and then it would become a sale. Reg Online processes as a sale instead of an authorization. What that means is that as registrations are collected then your cards would be, your customers cards would be charged as a sale and you would collect the money on a daily basis your merchant account would settle and the money would go into your bank account on a daily basis having your own merchant gateway means that you receive your funds on a daily basis it means that as registrations come in on a daily basis that money then goes into your bank account on a daily basis you collect money as the registrations are coming in and you're not having to wait for your money if you use Reg Online's system, which is the Reg Online Mini Merchant Account, it's a nice way for you to collect credit card payment at the time of registration. It makes it convenient for your registrants, but it's a little less convenient for you in that you have to wait for your funds on a monthly basis. And the processing fees could be a little bit higher than having your own merchant gateway. One of the advantages of having a Reg Online Mini Merchant Account would be that you wouldn't have to go through quite the qualifying process that you would in order to obtain your own merchant gateway. Online processing means both charges and refunds, and most gateways do support both charges and refunds through Reg Online. We do have a few gateways that do not process the online refunds, and that would mean that you would have to process either directly through the gateway or process refunds by check. It is dependent on your gateway, so you'd need to check with your gateway prior to signing up with that gateway to see whether it is compatible or not with Reg Online. As far as fees go with processing both charges and refunds, that is dependent on your gateway. It can depend on the amount of volume that you're processing on a monthly basis, and your per, per transaction fee may vary depending on the amount of volume that you do. Uh, that is something that varies by gateway. It can also vary by your bank account and what they actually charge you. So check into all of what the fees are going to be um, throughout the whole process.